I wake up on the club room floor. There's nobody here. I naturally sit up and look up. That's fucked up. They just left his ass on the floor there the whole day. That sucks. Shows how much he's appreciated, but anyway. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Moe Ninja Girls. We're continuing where we left off. We're still on Season 15. And we are moving into Chapter 10 now. Which should be the last chapter, so... Yeah, see how this season ends up. Get some jewels. Yeah, I just did that gotcha and didn't get anything from it. Oh, well. But anyway. Alright, Chapter 10. Sharing a Bicycle Gone Sexual. Yeah, I forgot stupid ass title <laughs> I was making fun of it gone wrong gone sexual yeah so the progress with Hotaru we're just about there I think if we get a few more correct ones we might be able to get it if not we may have to spend jewels again which sucks but we'll see if we can get her by the end of this. So let's see here. If anybody notices, the quality is slightly different. I did turn down the resolution. Down to 720. That's because for the Ninja Fight stuff, it was just so laggy for some reason. Yeah, I don't think this game was designed to be in the higher resolution. Because I know when I tried to play in like... Because I have a 4K TV... So trying to play in 4K, it was just laggy as all hell. But, anyway. So I turned it back down to 720. It's, it runs a lot smoother now, I can tell. I mean, I don't think it'll impact the video quality too much, but... It might be slightly more noticeable than it was, but anyway. Alright, so what happened at the end of the last video? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I remember Tenge had a bad memory, that's right. After being shocked by Enju. And then the MC got shocked here too, it looks like. Yeah, he's just now coming too, okay. So we're gonna see... I guess the whole after effects of that. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Tenge is gonna remember some stuff now. If more of her memories are going to come back after that. Well, let's see. Mm. Mm. Huh? I wake up on the club room floor. There's nobody here. I naturally sit up and look around. That's fucked up. They just left his ass on the floor there the whole day. That sucks. Shows how much he's appreciated. But anyway... The twilight sun glitters the room, letting me know that it is already past school hours. Oh, I guess I passed out after Andrew shocked me. Yep. <laughs> Gee, thanks guys for leaving me here to rot. Some friends I have. <laughs> I mean, you would think they would have at least took him to the nurse or something. That's, that's, that's messed up. I don't know. I want to complain, but there's no one here to direct my anger toward. Well, there's nothing more pathetic than talking to yourself, so I guess I'll just go back to my dorm. Ooh. Right as I stand up, the door opens. So, you're awake. Lily, okay. Lily comes into the club room with two plastic bottles of water. Wait, why are you still here? I was waiting for you to wake up. Oh, that's sweet. She's the only one so far that waited. Oh, maybe she told them to just head out and she'll stay behind. Okay. Here, you're dehydrated. Drink this. Lily passes me a bottle of water. Whoa. The condensation on the bottle is cold, but it feels really good. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thank Enju. She's the one who brought that for you. Who bought that for you? Oh, because she felt bad. Huh? Really? Yeah, she felt really bad about what she did. 
She said she overdid it. I'd rather her not hit me with lightning at all, to be honest. Haha. <laughs> and you can be rather impulsive, yes? She was worried about you, but Tenge ended up passing out as well, so we had to split up into two groups. Ah. Uh. One group was to take Tenge back to the dorm, and the other was to wait for you to wake up. You know you didn't have to wait for me, right? I say as I take the cap off the plastic bottle, thereupon R Lily Riley smirks. You don't mean that. I bet you were thinking, where is everybody? Why did they leave me here? What? No, I... Does she hear me complaining to myself or something? I ponder that to myself as I take a sip of my water. I turn my gaze back to Lily after quenching my thirst. So what happened to Tenge-san? I know she got a little shocked, but it didn't seem that serious. Yeah, she woke up before you did, and she can clearly remember the moments before she passed out. So it looks like she wasn't hurt by Enju's lightning jutsu. Then why did she pass out? Hmm. 2012. God damn. I have no story tickets. This sucks. I used to get most of these from doing the Fight Master and cookie things, but since they're not doing that stuff anymore, I don't have any tickets anymore. Ugh. Yeah, even the events, they don't give out as many story tickets as they did. I don't think... Well, I don't think they gave out any, many anyway, but... I know, like, the Fight Master stuff, that was where I got most of them. So they're literally going to force us to spend money on the game now. That really sucks. So they're making it harder to be free to play. I mean, I've spent money on the game once, and I hated it. <laughs> I was really upset afterwards. But now they're, like, making it to where in order to even play the game, you have to spend money on it. That <sighs> I hate that practice, honestly. Whatever, we're going to roll with it for now, see what happens. I can still save up jewels, though, to buy story tickets, so it's not the end of the world, but it just sucks. Anyway. Apparently, she saw a strange dream. A strange dream? She said she had a dream where she was surrounded by men in white lab coats at some sort of research facility. They were using her as a test subject, sending shockwaves to her brain. Disgusting. Could that research facility be? Yeah, it's those ruins, most likely. Hmm. Enju's lightning is most likely what triggered the flashback. Are you saying that her dream was something she actually experienced? It's highly likely that Tenge was inhumanely experimented on there. And the mental trauma must have given her amnesia. Yeah, sounds about right. But who would do such a thing? Beats me. But they're not good people, whoever they are. Lily tightly squeezes the bottle of water in her hand, causing it to indent inwards a bit. That's when the door to the club room opens. Is that Hotaru? Yep. OMG, you better be awake or I'm gonna be angry. What? Hotaru? Mitsuge, you're awake. And it looks like you were so talking about something without me. Thanks for keeping me out of the loop, fam. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Uh, nobody talks like this anymore. Jesus Christ. I apologize. I should have alerted you when he woke up. I wasn't expecting you to stay behind. What were you doing out in the hallway anyway? Drinking the juice Lily gave me by the vending machine. I was on my best behavior waiting for you. I got her something to drink since she stayed behind even though she doesn't go to this school. Lily tosses her empty bottle of water in the garbage can and extends a hand to me. Come on, let's go home. Yeah. I take Lily's hand and she sternly pulls me to my feet. Now all I need to do is... Walk Hotaru back to the shrine, oh yeah. 
Come on, Hotaru, I'll walk you back to the shrine. Don't worry about it, it's close by after all. But it's getting dark. Don't you think it's a little dangerous for a girl to be walking outside alone? Hey, if you really want to walk me back, then be my guest. Then your guest I shall be. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Anyway, ready to go? I can't keep myself from thinking about Tenge-san as I walk down the riverbed, bathing in the evening twilight. Hmm? What's wrong, Mitsuke? You look a little down. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get it with this, but at least we won't have to spend as many jewels. That's what I'm thinking. Although there's 12 parts, we could just still... There might be like, maybe three or four more choices, possibly. Anyway. This is where I found Tenge-san. What? This is where you found her? All I heard was that she appeared before you on your way back to the dorm. Why were you even here in the first place? There are plenty of quicker ways to get back to the dorm. While I was thinking about Tenge-san, I just naturally found my way here. This one time, we shared a bicycle together on the road by this riverbed. Tenge-san was sitting on the back where the basket goes. You shared a bicycle, huh? Hmm? Lily, what's up? It, it's nothing. More importantly, I want to ask you something. Which one of you suggested your ride together? Huh? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Why, is that important? No, but... Lily looks away and clears her throat. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but... You two have the weirdest relationship. Huh? You've been saying you're friends or whatever, but it's so obvious you're dating. Uh... <laughs> D dating Are you saying you think I'm Mitsuke's girlfriend? Well, Mitsuke... Are we? Oh. That's interesting. I don't think any of them has ever... I mean, they've all put the moves in... And they've hinted at it, but I don't think anyone has ever actually asked him, "Are we, hey, are we dating? Are we a couple? That's interesting. Okay. Wouldn't be against it. We're just friends. We're not... Hmm. So obviously this would be the Lily... I think this is the Lily choice. So it's one of these two. Well, since so she brought up that they're dating, maybe it's this one? We'll try it. I mean, I wish we were, but we're unfortunately not dating. What the fuck kind of... What? I wish we were, but we're not? Clearly she's open to it, so why you say... Why did they phrase it like this? That's weird to me. I don't know. Oh, really? Well, she's happy about that, so I don't know. Hotaru stares at me with great interest for some reason. Then, like, you're going out with anyone right- You going out with anyone right now? Come on, don't make me answer that. You're making me depressed just thinking about it. So, you're single, huh? Yeah, is that a problem? Nope. Why do you even ask? No reason. Lily suddenly stops in place. Well, you just said, Mitsuge. That very well may be a clue. What do you mean? We still don't know how Tenge got free. But perhaps she came to the riverbed without any memories and barely conscious. 
The same way you did, Mitsuke. Huh, that would be interesting. She probably tried to go to a place that was familiar, I guess. Subconsciously. You mean? I mean that maybe this place means a lot to Tenge as well. So, perhaps she unconsciously came here, even though she lost her memories. So, you mean her body remembers, huh? Exactly. So there's a chance her memories of this riverbed are the key to curing her amnesia. Huh. That's an interesting thought. Okay, so that was the Ot Hotaru choice. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to spend jewels. Oh, well. No big deal. The next day, Saturday. We're blessed with fine weather, perfect weather for cycling. Children play near the riverbed while joggers take to the area over the bank. I get on my bicycle and wait while the others in the Ninja Seeking Club surround me. I feel like a kid learning how to ride a bike. Mitsuke, riding a bike, is it possible? Of course I know how to ride a bike! Are you sure my bike's okay for the job, though? Of course. We need to recreate everything as closely as possible to how it was that day. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is the bike I used that day. So, Tenge, does this bike bring back any memories? I'm sorry, I'm not remembering anything. It's fine, we're just getting started. Sharing a bicycle is prohibited, but I guess we don't really have a choice. Is this really going to cure her amnesia, though? I don't know, but Lily seems pretty confident about it. This is simply a continuation of yesterday's test. We're going to have Tenge re-experience something dear to her to awaken her lost memories. At the very least, I think we'll all find this more wholesome than groping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, this is probably safer than this having... <laughs> than this having this dude fly into her tits every day. So, yeah. Sure, but is it going to be as stimulating as the groping? I'm not naive enough to think this is going to be quick and easy. But that's why we're going to have Mitsuke ride his bike as long as it takes to get a reaction. Hmm. Huh. What, is there a problem? What if I ride down the riverbed a hundred times and her memories still don't come back? Then you'll ride your bike down this path a thousand times. You're a ninja, you have the stamina. Have you no empathy? Riding a bicycle along the same course for almost an eternity. Was this supposed to be torture? I think to myself as I glare at Lily who places a hand on her lips and giggles. If she doesn't react to anything, then we'll come up with a new plan. But until then, we're counting on you. Fine. I say it while I straddle my bicycle seat. My thighs are sure going to be swollen tomorrow. Good luck, legs. Here, Tenge-san, have a seat behind me. Okay. Oh, uh, don't straddle this. Sit on there with your legs facing the side. S sorry. Don't worry about it. Tenki san sits on the rear rack behind me. Okay. Number five. Hold on tight. Wouldn't want you to fall or anything. Oh, okay. She timidly grabs onto the hem of my shirt with her fingers. Tenge-san, you're gonna have to hold on tighter than that. I don't want you getting hurt. Uh, alright. And with that determined voice of hers, I feel something soft touch my back. <laughs> uh, ooh. She wraps her arms around my sides and tightly holds on. What a soft seatbelt this is. Be 
pizza gay, 10 gays a pure, innocent girl right now who doesn't understand your perverted thoughts. I I'm not having any perverted thoughts. Just hurry up, it's already getting dark. I know, alright? Anyway, here we go, tenge son. She turns her arms around my stomach. And I briskly take off. One hour later. Oh man, I need to take a break. I instinctively hop off the bicycle and collapse facing up on the path by the riverbed. And before I know it, Lily and the others are looking down at me in disgust. Disgust? Pathetic. You barely even started and yet you're already tired? Do you even realize how many laps I've done? Around ten? Ten? More like a hundred! How was it, Tenge? I still can't remember anything. Oh. Was there anything you noticed, though? Anything feel familiar at all? Uh... Tenge-san's response says it all. Mitsuge, get back on the bike. We don't have time for breaks. D just one more minute. Mitsuge-senpai! Tenge-senpai! It's Honey Lemon! Miyu hands each of us a water bottle. T thanks Thank you. I take a sip. The sweet and sour liquid circulates through my weary body. Nano and Yamabuki are sitting by my side, staring at us. Okay, so now I'm gonna pretty much use up the last of my story tickets for this. Great. Phew, I feel like we're in gym class. I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. You're not even doing anything! Just watching you learn how to ride a bike is exhausting enough. How? And I know how to ride a bike! Look at Rika, she's already passed out. Hmm. <laughs> what the? Hey, wake up! But wasn't sleeping. Just had a dream about fried noodle hot dogs. Because you were sound asleep. Whatever, just wipe the drool off your chin. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. You don't have anything you need to apologize for, Tenge-san! Exactly. This isn't your fault. Tenge's fine. After all, we're friends, right? Yeah, we're here for you, Tenge. So loosen up and enjoy yourself. I really admire your amazingly huge chest. <laughs> oh, God. Everyone. It looks like I was blessed with a lot of good friends. Yeah, everyone loves you. I'm new to the group, but I feel the same way as them. Thank you. Anyway, we're counting on you, Mitsuge. H hold up, just give me a little bit longer. My legs still need more time to recover. <sighs> Come on, show me your legs. Huh? Lily squats before me. Here we go. Thereupon, she suddenly grabs my leg with both hands. Whoa! Lily begins massaging my inner and outer thigh while using the perfect amount of pressure with her delicate fingers. Wow. I'm massaging your legs. It's not much, but you should be able to last for the rest of the day. But that's fine and dandy and all, but... Oh. Stop making weird noises. 
You look like you're having fun, Mitsuge. No, it... it t tickles. Hmm. <laughs> there has to be a premium story in this somewhere. Probably the last couple parts went in there. What is this? A reward for my hard work? Erotic punishment? Whatever it is, it feels good. Kimochi! This is merely a temporary measure, though. It won't stop you from having sore muscles tomorrow and the day after. But, we need you to give it another go for Tenke's sake. Oh, yeah. I'm happy and sad at the same time. There you are! Hotaru comes running over from the other side of the bank. Hey, Mitsuge! I brought a little something for you. Hmm? Here, catch! Hotaru passes me something small. It's a new charm now on sale at Dorobune Shrine. It'll so totally make your wishes come true. I appreciate it. But, are there seriously new types of charms still being made? What, like you don't believe me or something? Ouch! So, does it even work? You know it, I bless it myself after all! Well, it's not like I have any reason to turn down free stuff. I'll put my faith in the charm. I'll put my faith in the power of the charm and see what I can do. Thanks, Otardu. You don't need to thank me. Oh, but like, tell me if it works so I can make more and sell them. Gotta bring good fortune to the people, am I right? Y yeah so I'm your guinea pig, huh? Anyway, let's start round two. I'll place a charm in my pocket before straddling the bicycle. Are you okay? You look exhausted. I've never felt better. If you say so. Tengasan once again takes a seat behind me. And just like that, I'm pedaling again. But... <laughs> How do you feel, Tenge-san? I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Oh. Well, as the old saying goes, the autumn sun sets as quickly as a bucket dropping into a well. We should probably start heading back before it gets too dark. Good idea. Oh yeah, we might... I don't know, is there at least one more that I can at least get another answer in there? Hopefully, we'll see. After you work so hard, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. But my body is approaching its limit. I lie on the ground, breathing hard. I'm going to go buy some juice for Mitsuke and Tenge-san. I'll make sure to pick something up for Lilia-san and Hotaru, too. Does anyone else want anything to drink? Let me come with you. Want a hot dog bun stuffed with fried noodles? I need to go to the bathroom. What was that? You want to try on a costume just made by yours truly? Okay, Miu Miu, I get it. I'll come with you, so stop begging. Gosh. What? But I didn't say anything. Everyone scatters one by one. The only ones left are Lily, Tengesan, Hotaru, and me. The crimson sky hangs over us as the crickets chirp. I lie sprawled out, lifeless, gazing at the sun as it sets. Will Tengesan and I never be able to watch the sunset and reminisce like we used to? Hmm. 
Uh, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. What I wanted to say was... What did you just say, Mitsuge? I said I'm sorry, I really am. I wasn't trying to put any pressure on Tenge-san or anything. No, before that. What did you say about the sunset? Oh, that... It was the evening when Tenge-san and I rode together. Wait, what? The sunset was really beautiful that day. It was evening? Why didn't you say so sooner? What the... What are you so angry about? If I remember correctly, it was evening when you found Tenge here as well. Yeah, and... It's the time! We need to duplicate the time of day as well! And it's evening now, so let's try it again! Huh? Uh, okay. Tengisan and I get back on the bicycle. I can feel Tengisan on my back as I place my feet on the pedals. <sighs> cool autumn breeze caresses my cheeks while I ride. The noise from the city slowly fades into the distance, and it starts to feel like we're the only ones here. It's strange. I don't remember a thing, but this feels so familiar. This is almost exactly how it was that day. I'm sure it was. I must have been so happy. Tengisan leans into my back. My heart briefly starts to race. Uh oh. But I calm myself down while I continue to pedal. This feeling. This air. I stop the bike when we reach the end of the riverbed. Ready to head back? Yes. I ride the bicycle in a semicircle to turn around until... Mitsuge. Tengisan grabs my arm and whispers to me. Hmm? I turn around to face Tengisan. Then she leans in and... Oh. Okay. Our lips touch. Tenge san? Who's gotten into her? Mm. Then out of nowhere, her body goes limp as if she lost consciousness. Tenge san? I immediately catch her in my arms. And I carry her off the bicycle. What's wrong? Did something happen? Lillian and Hotaru come rushing over. It... It was also sudden. Tenge-san just collapsed. Did you remember something? Hotaru squats down in front of Tenge-san. You... Tenge-san? You're... Who, me? Hmm. Her pupils shrink and she suddenly screams. She's having a flashback! Tenge-san! Deep into the night a few weeks earlier. It's the night Hotaru communicated with Tenge's soul in the Kari's room. The researchers are already asleep and a deep silence reigns over the facility. Tenge is lying in the bed. That's when a sphere of light appears before her.
What's that? Tenge san! Tenge san! Who are you? Okay, so she's remembering the night that they tried to uh, channel her subconscious, I guess. Interesting. Tenge san, I am trying to summon your soul. You are. I'm just your average shrine maiden. If you can hear my voice, then show yourself to us. Please, everyone's so totally worried about you. Everyone? Ah! Tenge-san, where are you? Are you okay? I... Where... am... I... It's dark. Always... so... dark. It's dark? I was taken to a large building with two chimneys. One sticks out of the ground. Inside... Uh, ah! Tenge-san, are you okay? Mitsuge, I'm so happy to see you again. The sphere of life fades, cutting off any communication with Hotaru. But the stimulus causes Tenge to slowly begin to awaken. Where am I? This place. She lifts herself up with her trembling hands and gets out of bed. Tenge's muscles have atrophied, and it takes everything she has to get up on her own. Using the nearby desk for support, she stands and faces the door. I have to... go back. Everyone's waiting for me. To be reunited with the others and with Mitsuge. Tenge slowly limps towards the door. Tenge walks with no destination in mind. She doesn't remember where she went or how she got there. But by the time she realizes this, she arrives at this riverbed. How? Tenge-san? You... Tenge-san, you're okay! Who are... you? Tenge's body is finally overcome with exhaustion, perhaps being relieved to see him. And just like that, her body goes limp. Tenge-san! Tenge-san is still unconscious in my arms. Until... Challenge a checkpoint. Here we go, this is what I was waiting for. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Oh, here we go. So it's another Tenge focused kind of chapter. Well, I mean, she just came back, so it's to be expected, but... Anyway, I don't know. She slowly opens her eyes. Hmm? She quietly gazes into my eyes, then gently smiles. You don't have to scream. I can hear you. Thank goodness you're okay. <laughs> Were you worried? Of course I was. You just randomly passed out. <laughs> you were always the worrier, weren't you? Well, excuse me. 
Tenge, are you okay? Oh, if it isn't Lily. I haven't seen you in ages. Those clothes. Don't tell me you transferred to Mizaki's school as well. Huh? Tenge, did you... Did you get your memories back? Well, my head's still a little fuzzy, but it sure looks that way. Her almost ambiguous answer makes it sound like she's teasing us, which brings me to just one conclusion. Tenge-san's back. Oh yeah. Really? Thank goodness. I'm back. Was everyone worried about me? Of course we were. You're our friend, after all. Friend, eh? That overly serious attitude of yours never changes, does it? It's to make up for you, since you never take anything seriously. Wow, not a bad comeback for a little girl like you. Ooh. What? I'm only a few centimeters shorter than you. Oh, sweetie, I never said anything about height. Tenge-san lowers her gaze and focuses on Lily's breasts. <laughs> of course she does. Her chests aren't all that different in size, either. Y y where did all this come from? <laughs> what do you think, Mitsuge? <laughs> oh, no. Don't ask this, dude. Why do you have to get me involved? What do you think you're doing? Mitsuke has nothing to do with this. Tut tut. Oh, Lily, could it be? Mitsuke, eh? <laughs> I never imagined that you would fall in. Tut stop! You've got it all wrong! What in the world are they talking about? Ugh. <sighs> Lily's face turns red as she looks away from me. What's wrong with her? Anyway, even though they're ripping on each other back and forth, there's a certain happiness in their eyes. Welcome back, Tenge. Thanks. It's good to be back. Mitsuge. Hmm? You no, know, this might be a better thumbnail. Go with this one instead. Okay. I heard your voice when I was unconscious at that research facility. That's what motivated me to get out of there and come home. Tenge-san reaches out to touch my cheek. Tenge-san. I softly wrap my hand around hers. I'm so happy to see you again. Me too. So, like, I guess this is it, huh? Case closed? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that was nice. Alright, last part. You're that shrine maiden that visited me, aren't you? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself! Hotaru Kokonohi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Hotaru. You saved my life. Thank you so much. Don't thank me, thank my new charms now on sale. Oh, and thank me too. <laughs> aren't you the funny one? Mitsuke, Tenge-san, we're back! Tadaima! Akari and the others approach us. Oh, Akari, long time no see. You're as cheerful as always, I see. Huh? Tenge-san, did you get your memories back? <laughs> I'll just leave that to your imagination. Tenge! <laughs> Oh, and you don't cry. 
How can you be so nonchalant at a time like this? <laughs> well, everybody, Tanky Sun's back! Tanky Sun, I missed you so much! You too, Akadi. <laughs> Tanky Senpai! Miu, have you grown? Team. <laughs> Tenge, sorry for hurting you in the cave. We were just following orders. Besides, it was only a scratch. It healed in no time. Tenge-san, is your amnesia really cured? There are still a few things I can't remember, but I do remember all of you. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. Trouble? It was no trouble at all. <laughs> you just had to put your body on the line. For... Sitting there pedaling back and forth all damn day. <laughs> Jesus. You don't have to be sorry for anything. Tenge, I'm so glad you're alive. Thank you. Yeah. Tenge Senpai. Tenge san returns. Hooray. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say, but congratulations! Omedeto! Everyone crowds around Tenge san. I wiped the tears from my eyes before taking Tenge san's hand and facing her. Welcome back, Tenge san. Okayuri. I'm home. <laughs> I see a flash of sorrow on her face. Mitsuke, I'm sure you know this already, but this isn't over yet. Huh? I still can't remember everything about the people who kidnapped me. Sooner or later, they will come after me. Actually, they're probably already searching for me. Just who are they? There's a sense of heroism in the midst of the despair as her eyes suddenly turn grim. They're called... Yata Garasu. Oh. Yata Garasu. So clearly that means something to them. Hmm. Interesting. Welcome to the next episode of Preview Corner with me, Lily. And your girl, Hertale. First things first, congratulations on completing Season 15. A lot happened this season. Our search for Tenge, finding the YTG8 members, and our get-together with Otato Misa School. Yeah, like, OMG, my head's spinning just thinking about it. But it looks like everything worked out in the end. Yeah, it looks that way. We learned the name of the organization that kidnapped Tenge, but... We still have no idea who they really are. Anyway, let's just forget about Yatagarasu for now and just be happy that Tenge came back safely. Thank you, Hotaru. This is all thanks to you. I got your back, fam! <laughs> so, like, what happens now that the main scenario is over? There are three endings that follow Season 15. My ending, your ending, and the other ending. I guess what ending you get depends on the choices you made, huh? So, like, whoever didn't get my ending is gonna have to wait until the next season to see me again? Exactly. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you for playing through Season 15 and hanging out with us! Thank you so much, I love you. Wow. They really did change Lily's character throughout the course of this series. That's crazy. Huh? Were you always like this, Lily? And what are you blushing for? Just shut up. <laughs> Alright. Three story tickets. Yeah. So how much is it gonna cost?
340. It still takes over 300. That's so dumb. Uh, but whatever. We got the Hiltardo ending. So we'll be going for that in the next video. But that's very interesting. So Tenge is back now. Mostly. It's probably going to be a little bit longer before she remembers everything, but... She's at least back to her old self. So that's cool. Yeah. And then I think she shows up in Season 16 as a route. I don't know. I'm probably not going to be able to... Probably not going to play through that one just because... One, I don't have many story tickets. Because I don't want to have to sit here and keep buying them. And two, we kind of... I did go for Tenge in 3.5, so I at least... I at least satisfied... That part of the ending I wanted to see, so... Yeah. I don't know, we'll see when that time comes. But, anyway... But anyway guys, gonna be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. So we're gonna go for Hotaru's ending in the next one, so that should be cool. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, you can let me know by leaving a like or telling me in the comments below. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.